What is going on everyone? My name is Simon and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about five gear items that I've been using in 2020 that have really kind of helped shape my adventures that I've been having, just in terms of adding more comfort or things that have really stood out for nostalgia reasons and just really good items of kit that I kind of wanna share with you guys to um, explain a little bit about what they're, what they're like for me during this year. So the first up and let me just pause. So if you are new, please hit the like button. That would be much appreciated. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Much appreciated. The support for the channel has been great so far. So the first up then is the Trekology Aluft UL80 Sleep Map. Now I've used this a bunch of times. Trekology kindly sent this to me and it's a great bit of kit. And the reason why is because it's really robust. So it's made of a 40D nylon. And the reason I, I, I like the fact that it's so nice and thick and robust is that I can just chuck it around. I don't have to worry about it. It retails at about $39.99 on Amazon. And I know with, for example, the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite, which I also have, that's that can be, I'm a little bit wary of using it just because it's so expensive. So I find with this, I can just chuck it around and I don't have to worry about it. The penalty of course is the weight. So it's around 560 grams and the Thermarest Neo X Lite, which I have, the regular version, is weighs in about 360 grams. So there's obviously a, a weight difference there. Um, and the other thing I really like is it's not tapered. So it's just one size all the way down, so your legs aren't gonna slip off the bottoms. It has slightly curved edges, so your arms aren't gonna fall off. Um, but one of the things I did find actually lying on my back was that I'm quite wide and my arms are dropping off the sides. So perhaps it's not quite wide enough. Packs down nice and small. So it's about 18.5 centimeters by about 12 centimeters pack size. In terms of the thickness, it's around 10 centimeters thick. So it's gonna keep you nice and high off the ground. It is technically a three season sleep pad. And just going back to the thickness compared to the, the thickness of the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite, that's about six and a half centimeters. It is a three season pad as mentioned. Um, and it has an R value estimated between 1.6 and 2 versus I think around 4.5 for the Thermarest. So quite a big difference there. And Trekology had a lot of success with the Aluf pillow, which I've seen on a lot of YouTube channels and really popular product. And so this has kind of really come to the fore now as a sleeping pad. And it's just a, a, a super cheaper option basically versus some of the other more expensive pads out there. Now I touched on Denier earlier, so the Thermarest is 40D. Denier is noted as a lowercase d, so if you see the unit of measurement, you'll, you'll notice there's either a, there'll be like a number followed by a small d, and that's essentially how it's presented when you look at a product to buy. Now Denier is effectively the thickness of the individual strands that make up a material or textile used to make a product. So for example, if I look at my down jacket, here's one of them that I have here. This is probably gonna be something like 20D and that'll be no denoted as 20 lowercase d. And that's that relates to the thickness of the material. Now what manufacturers are able to do is they're able to reduce the denier which will save a lot of weight. And obviously that's what a lot of people are looking for is a product that, that doesn't weigh anything because ultimately you're gonna to have to carry it. You can get a 50D jacket, but that will be much heavier. But the thickness of the threads used to make that jacket will be thicker and therefore it will weigh a lot more. But what you do get that with, with that is robustness. So this is obviously very thin. If I was to catch this on a bramble or something, it's gonna tear. And similarly, on the thinness, if I look at my um, sleeping bag here, I've got the Rav Neutrino XL sleep bag is, is one of the ones I have. Now this is super thin. So in this instance, this weighs about 860 grams, which is pretty light for a sleeping bag. And the manufacturer have been able to get the weight down because they reduced the thickness of essentially the outer material that makes up the product. And that doesn't matter with a sleeping bag because you're not gonna snag it on anything. So it's gonna last a long time maybe a bit more important with a jacket. And then if you think about the fly sheet of a tent, for example, so this can also come in a range of different deniers, depending on whether you want a lightweight tent and therefore something which is less durable perhaps, or something that's a lot stronger and more durable, but will weigh a lot more. And with a lower denier, you're obviously gonna lose durability 
but you're going to save on weight. So when taking into something into consideration, for example, the purchase of a jacket, you might just want to consider what the denier value is. If it's 20, it's going to be lower and lighter. If it's going to be a higher number, then it's going to be much more durable, but it's probably going to be a lot heavier. Denier denotes the thickness of the fabric and each individual thread as mentioned. So it's nothing to do with the waterproofness of a particular material. That's actually hydrostatic head, which is a different measurement. Next up then, it's the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. I love this stove. I've got a bunch of stoves. They're all fueled by gas. And the reason I like this stove is because, <laughs> yeah, I'm just fell up. The reason I like this stove is because it's super lightweight. It weighs 73 grams. It feels nice and robust compared to some of the other stoves I've got. And it's got really quite a broad arms at the top to carry sort of most pots that you can, um, most widths of pots on the top. It's got a, a regulator here, so you can have like a low simmer or you can turn it up if you want more powerful blast and to heat things up quicker. And in terms of boiling water, it can boil a litre of water in 3.5 minutes. It has the wind clip windshield technology, so there are some grooves here so if one of the sections blows out because of the wind, then the other two work or even one may work. Some of the criticisms of this are that it can create a heat spot on the bottom of your pot, but to be honest, I've never had any issues with that before. It's lightweight, as I mentioned, it weighs 73 grams and it can fit into, if you have one of those small sort of 200 gram gas canisters, you can include that and this, and that can go into one of your cook pots. And just on that arm, this, there's an, uh, a section there where you can insert an Allen key and I'm just going to tighten that up. So this isn't, this isn't going anywhere. This is nice and robust and it's going to stay with me for many, I'm going to be able to get lots of years of use out of it. So I know what I'm going to get from the MSR brand. I've had an MSR tent in the past and that's been really good as well. So it gives me confidence this is a durable, good quality product. And it retails at $29.99 through Amazon. And the arms just fold down nice and secure so that you can insert this into your pot as required. Next up, it's it had to be a tent, didn't it? And look how tiny it is. It packs down, what's that, two hand widths? Packs down super small. Yeah, it's the 3F UL Lanshan 1 Pro. The Lanshan without the Pro was a hugely popular tent and you'll have seen this on uh, you know, if you've looked around, if you're interested in gear at all, you'd be, a, you'd be a fool not to have noticed. This is the Pro, which basically the difference between the two was this is, this is a single skin tent, so just one layer. Downside of that is condensation. So you're gonna get that. You're always gonna get condensation. And if you've ever slept out in a tent and you've reached out of your tent on the inner and you've, you've touched the inside of the fly sheet, then it's gonna be soaking wet in the morning when you've woken up and this is no different it's it's um it was really wet on the inside as, as expected and that did put a bit of a downer on it it's a bit of a nostalgia pick for me i took this on the west highland way so i actually i kind of love this thing in, in many ways super lightweight so the tent only weighs 690 grams and i guess the other down, downside is you need a walking pole to, to put it up but um but that's because it's so light it wouldn't be light without that so you need one walking pole in the center just to, just to put it up it's about 120-ish centimetres head height, but that's at the peak of the tent. And going back to the condensation, because of because it, because it is effectively a triangular shaped tent, your head's fairly close to either side and you're gonna to touch the condensation. I found my down bag touching the, the condensation on the inner. It, it was nice and long. So again, that's another difference to the previous Lanshan is that it is much, lo uh, much longer inside. It's about 130-ish, 125 centimetres in length. And um, so that's good if you're a taller person, um, but just mentioning those peaked, peaked sides means that you, um, you're, you're probably gonna touch the, the inside of the, um, the, the tent where the condensation occurs. 125 pounds through AliExpress, which is not a bad price for a super lightweight tent at all. You can often pay a lot more than that. And it's made of a 20D nylon, and it's got a 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic head. So that's my pick three. Right, next up, it is a down jacket. It's the four class trekking down jacket from Decathlon. First thing is it packs so small and that's what I absolutely love about this jacket. Has a little toggle here so you can hang it up if you need to, but this packs down nice and small in my pack. 
It only weighs about 290 grams, which I really like. And even better, the price is 39.99, which is crazy. You might have seen in some of my other videos, I've got a North Face Nups jacket. From memory, that didn't cost much less than 200 pounds. It was uh, super expensive. So normally down jackets are super, very, very expensive. Because they purchase these things in bulk, they're able to sell them at a much lower price. It's a 15 denier fabric. I spoke about that earlier in the video and what that means. And the down that goes inside, so this is the large version, 290 grams total weight. The down weighs about 100 grams that goes inside. It's RDS certified, so if ethics is your thing in terms of how down is sourced, then essentially I've made a video about this and I'll post a link above. It's a sign that Decathlon care about the ethics and welfare of the animals that they're using to make the product. Really, really cool bit of kit and it comes in a range of colors as well. I've had two of these now. I've still got the previous one and I've treated it like absolute rubbish. So um, so it, it does last a long time. And this one's in great condition. This one's a little bit newer. So yeah, really good quality as well. So sometimes you think just because it's cheaper then it might not be as good quality, but not in this case. So really, really good bit of kit. I'd love to hear about any of your gear items that you've been using or any kit that you've been using in 2020 or that you're thinking of buying in the future. Comments in the video below and just let me know yeah, what you're thinking of purchasing, what do you think of the, the things that I've got, How can what can I add to my kit to improve, what do you think of the downsides, anything you can add would be really appreciated. I'm always open to learning and I really want to understand what everyone's using, so that would be awesome. So the final thing is, it's another jacket, very blue, it's the North Face Quest jacket. Now again, it's another nostalgia pick for me, I took it on the West Highland Way and the amount of times I got absolutely soaked, I've been while camping now for about two years and it took me a while to buy a good waterproof jacket so when you finally get one that keeps you dry then it's a huge deal it's got some a mesh inner for breathability it was it's quite heavy it weighs about 460 grams i'm not going to go into too much detail i'll post a link to a video i, I did a much more detailed review of the jacket and i've never got wet wearing this and i've walked through the scottish highlands as i said on the west highland way for days and it's kept me dry and I've taken on a, a bunch of wild camping trips this year and I've been dry throughout. So, and some of you guys have also mentioned that you've, you've purchased the uh, the jacket out after watching my, my review video. So it's definitely a good, good product. It, it costs around, it ranges between sort of 70 pounds and 110 pounds, but on one website, I think Millets or Blacks, they're selling it for about 70 pounds today. I think I've paid about 55 pounds after various discounts, but again, link above if you want to see a more detailed review. Guys, that's it from me on this one. I hope you enjoyed the, the video this time around. Again, post any comments below for any gear items that you've been using in 2020. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to uh, comment and share the video. Like if you enjoy it and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and you're watching this. The amount of support has been amazing this year and I really appreciate it. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care and Merry Christmas. Cheers.